Time is ticking as we head closer and closer to a government shutdown. The countdown to 12:01 Sunday morning when all federal funding runs out. And so many government operations could be impacted by this. Lili Zhang joining us live with those impacts. Lili. Well, Sharon, Jim, the Department of Employment Services says a few hundred thousand people could be impacted by a potential shutdown. We spoke with an organization and they say that they are prepared to help where they can. Food brings everybody together. Food is a powerful tool to certainly strengthen bodies and nourish us, but it's also something that we all need and it's something that can lead us to think differently about the challenges that we all face. The potential challenge could come this weekend when government funding runs out at midnight tomorrow. Alexander Moore is with D.C. Central Kitchen. Their mobile food trucks will begin to provide free meals that anyone needs starting Monday at two locations if the shutdown proceeds. Now, when a shutdown happens, millions of federal employees and military service members do not get paid until it ends. And those deemed essential, like public safety or national security, for example, they keep working. Non-essential employees employees are furloughed or temporarily suspended. Some say current budget talks suggest this looming shutdown could be drawn out or at least very vocal. We basically factor in that Republicans and Democrats are going to disagree. We see it play out in our everyday lives. But this one is actually Republicans disagreeing on Republicans uh, talking points about how much to fund. And so we haven't even got to the point where what is acceptable to a Democratic Senate or a Democratic White House. And according to the Department of Employment Services, those impacted can be eligible for unemployment insurance benefits. They can apply as soon as Sunday.